It's a warm day. Today is the 24th of May 2016. It's a Tuesday. It's 4.20 p.m. It seems like it's quite cloudy up there, but it's warm. And welcome to my secret garden. There's something that I want to, to show you and it's down there. Let's get out there now. This is uh, what the tree looks like when it's dead. That means it's been chopped and a new one is growing over the dead body. And the one that I wanted to show you is around here. So this plant is called the sensitive plant because it will do something if you do something to it. Sensitive, it is very sensitive and if you were to say or shout expletives at it, it will do something. It's also called the bashful and also shy plants. If you drop down your pants to show your groin or naked groin with something behind it, hopefully, uh, maybe not. I do not want to see penises or cocks, but I prefer the version that has no trunks in it or something long like a sausage. I prefer the bare version with a what you call crack. And the plant will do something. What does it do? I'm going to show it to you now. The species, no, the genus and species of this plant is called Mimosa pudica. Yes, Mimosa pudica. Not pudina. Pudina is a uh, mint. And if you were to type into Google and you say Mimosa, Mimosa is a type of uh, alcoholic drink that is orange in colour, that means it's made of oranges or pineapples, who knows. So I'm going to show you what it does with zooming technology. And that's the Mimosa Pudica. Nice. The wind is blowing and nothing is happening to it. But once I use the tip of my dick, okay that's not my dick but that's my thumb, and it will do something. Look, look, look see how fast it is it just closed this what do you call uh, maybe you can call it as uh, leaves uh, who knows these plants here it is a uh, tough plant it's a weed actually and it's got barbed thorns or thorns on its stalk and as as I said earlier it's a weed is it's quite unwanted because it grows everywhere and it's got sharp thorns so um, the flower is something like a pink little ball, fluffy ball, and there's nothing to shout about. It's nothing to write home to your mother about. Uh, it's not like a rose, or at least a rose has some flower which is quite pretty, but a rose by any other name is just as deadly with its very, very sharp thorns. So, yep, if you touch it, it will close its leaves and the wind does not actually affect it but this like so tactile touch uh -huh. so let's do some slow motion uh, fast tracking not fast tracking uh, what do you call those things uh, slow motion stuff hopefully using YouTube's video player I can do a slow motion capture can get a bit addictive like popping bubbles from a wrapping uh, wrapping whatever what do you call those things uh, those things that comes with uh, in boxes to help protect the product for shipping but popping the bubbles hmm, quite addictive nah not really there's so many of them they are found in Malaysia Indonesia Philippines Thailand and also originates from South America so any country which is hot in terms of climate, hot and humid and unbearably very bad to live in, it's found there. So, yep, it's quite cute. I mean, it's quite a nice thing to see actually, but uh, not a nice thing to live with, especially if you are living in a jungle and you have no shoes and whatnot. So that's it. The video is about this. It's a warm day in Malaysia, just in case you do not know. 
34 degrees Celsius on my watch, but it's affected by my body heat, so don't trust it that much. But the humidity in Malaysia is always unbearable. Life would be better if you were cranking the air conditioner to the max and live like in the Arctic. So see you in the next video. Support me through Patreon. Bye-bye.